Okay, lads. So this is a little disclaimer. First of all, you can skip it if you want. So the video, uh, well, it has its own introduction, so I won't explain it. What I want to explain is the black bars uh, in the in the sides of the video. Well, uh, as I say in the introduction of this very video, this is officially unpausing um, the series that I started almost two months ago now that I that I put on pause because I, I, I realized I couldn't keep up having multiple series in the channel at the time um, and there is a little thing I have to do with this game particularly being so old and whatnot so I have to uh, record my screen I cannot record the game per se I have to record this the screen and I have to start recording the screen before opening the game and once I open the game I cannot tab out of the game until I finish recording that's how the previous two episodes were recorded and everything looks perfect in this one however I opened the game I tapped out I started recording and I started playing so uh, there is black bars in the video that's it it's gonna be the only episode that has this problem i hope it's not an issue and yeah roll the video thanks very well so hello once again everyone and welcome to officially unpausing of the series on divine divinity the walkthrough <clears throat> well as you might know as you might remember if you've been following the channel during Baldur's Gate 3 uh, lore series uh, at some point I decided to have a several series going on it and that was probably a mistake I could not keep up with it I apologize matter of fact I would advise if you want to follow around for this walkthrough to go back to episode 1 and 2 that were uploaded almost two months ago now I myself had to do it I had to go back and watch them so I, I could have an idea on where I was and what I had done um, so yeah officially I'm pausing the series that's everything you need to know if you want to uh, catch up to the story and what we've done so far I just would advise to watch in uh, episode one and two it's um, yeah the way I decided to approach this series is going to be very edited as I said I think in episode one introduction because it is a lot of dungeon smashing it's a lot of um, it's a lot of the um, of uh, yeah basically farming a lot it's not it's not farming but it's you have to go around cleaning a lot of caves and dungeons so I want to try to make sure that I don't leave details behind so you got uh, from cut to cut for example when I cut from one scene to the other you you don't get lost in where I've been and what I've done and we can proceed to the story which is what I care about really so yeah last time the last thing we did was to retrieve the enchanted axe to our orc friend Smedok. that was it but we still got this going to restore Mardinho's sanity we've learned from a few things uh, I show I think I did show this uh, this is the underground of Aleroth and from here we go even deeper down this area it's cleaned up uh, well i don't know if there's any more enemies but we can see the whole area in the map that means we've walked around this whole place uh, otherwise it would be uh, dark we, we could not be able to see that so i'm assuming this part we've done already it was a lot of uh, as i said it was a lot of uh, skeletons skeleton killing um and whatnot so to proceed further down oh yeah and this is what we're doing down here uh, I, I didn't explain that we found a couple of books or notes from this person Theliron Theliron is the one that Mardenius damn if you don't watch the videos I'm gonna have to explain this whole thing so Mardenius is the healer leader of the of the healer's village and he's gone insane now we know that he's gone insane once he came down here uh, to this uh, underground he went exploring he lost a lot of men uh, and he keeps saying Theliron Theliron this Theliron that's a demon or something like that so 
we found a couple of notes on Theliron. Theliron was trying to achieve immortality. It looks like. And um, he was very hell bent on the fact that the the healers of the village are, are plotting against him. So as you can see in the timing, some of the timings uh, can be interacted with. This is what is gonna take you deeper down into more catacombs and stuff. So this place is not cleaned up. We have not been here. I'm assuming this is where we need to go. Now, as I told you before, uh, it's going to be a lot of uh, skeleton killing. Uh, remember, we're playing with Morgana, our mage that we created. I decided to work with a mage because the first time I took a... I, took a, um, I, I gave it a go to the game. It was very difficult. It was very difficult. I helped myself. I watched a few other people. I got a little bit of more understanding on how this this is uh, and also making good use of our teleporter stone which in my first uh, my first go at the game I lost so this place seems to have nothing that is very um, normal we're just gonna go back so some of the tidings take you to places of farming basically you need to have a look. If you want to have a go at the game, you need to just go everywhere. Everywhere and kill everything and slowly and get things and get level. Otherwise, you're going to get annihilated. So we need to find a different uh, tithing to go down. I believe it's down down to the, to the west. I'm going to have a look around though. Just make sure we remember everything. And follow me on follow me, uh, follow me on Twitch because uh, well, if you don't want to, you don't have to. I think all of that I'm gonna upload to this channel. Everything that is related to streaming content that is not edited and prepared, I prefer to upload on that channel. Uh, but I think uh, there's a few things coming that I will upload here anyway. That would be Dragon Age Origins series and. Kingdom Come Deliverance series. That that's also another of the series that I post. The thing is, I'm currently I currently uploaded uh, episode fifty two of the Baldur's Gate lore series. At the moment, it's only published episode forty eight, but I try to work ahead. Yeah, that, that is definitely not the tiding. Okay, there is another iron ladder here. This also takes you to places. Ah, oh, no, this is where we came from. In that case, it's that one over here in the left. Just took a little time there to uh, try to introduce and explain a few things in case you're interested. Right, what is this book? Oh, this is one of the notes from uh, Theliron. 32 Septen. 1207. The healers are plotting against me. I know it. They are jealous of my mighty powers and wondrous knowledge. I must find a way to escape their prudence investigations into my into my little experiments. But well, where can I go? Unless Unless what, dear friend? Unless what? Stairway? Okay, now we're going deeper down. This seems to be some sort of journal. I here begin my researches uh, into this lowest section of the catacombs. So far I have found no evidence of an entrance to a lower level, but my intuition tells me there is one. My research has shown that the two central tombs lead to a secret lower part of the catacombs. I cannot open them though. If I did so, hordes of skeletons would rise from their graves. I know the stench of an uh, old rings on that ambush spell when I smell it. I have found that openings all for uh, all four outer tombs unlock the two center tombs. However, as noted above, upon opening these tombs, hordes of skeletons will rise to slay the one that awakens them. I shall leave this journal here as a warning to others who dare to enter these parts of the catacombs. The further proceed in this forsaken place, the more evil I sense in, uh, is further on. I must find out 
what is down there. That is pretty... Uh, okay, so this place we've been before as well, you can see. Because uh, because it's cleared up in the map. And because there is no skeletons to to show around. So, as, in, as I stated in the notes, many of these tombs, when you open them, uh, will bring a horde of skeletons. There is a couple of them you need to look out for. Well, not if you play in a mage like me, you can just obliterate them. There is the skeletons. There is always going to be a leading one that is very strong and big. As you can see, being a mage, we can afford a few hits. We obliterate them. Uh, but there is one skeleton that is flying. Looks like a dragon skeleton. Those are the casters. They cast more skeletons. So you want to kill them first. Uh, deeper down, there will be... Uh, uh, those are the ones I'm talking about. I don't know if you realized, but that one actually summoned a skeleton. So, uh, there is another one, another flying caster that it's red. So, the red flying casting dragon casts more casters. So, you want to look for them. You want to kill them first, more likely. Okay. These tombs do nothing. As, in, as I stated in the note, once again, we need to open all tombs that are in the corners. You can see. This, basically. Uh, I don't know. Well, just to be... Just to make sure we're going to open them all. But we want to open this. Right in the center. Some of these have items, some of these uh, can be passages to the small underground places to farm, as I told you. But yeah, there is these two in the center. Natural Alchemy, the power of nature, written by Medicus. Hmm. Okay, that is not very relevant to the story. What is there for you to read if you want? These tombs are locked. We need to open them all. And fight with the hordes of skeletons that come out when we do so. Damn it, don't move. But yeah, so as I stated in the introduction, gotta um, know how to play the game. It's quite rough for someone my age uh, that never played this kind of game. Gotta make good use of your teleporter stone. Cannot forget that uh, when you're running out of mana or health. Just rest. That way you don't have to waste potions and whatnot. When you go back into the area you're playing, because uh, back there when we were, it's our house. Put it back. Put it back always. I lost it in my first playthrough. I couldn't proceed. Run out of... Uh, run out of potions. I didn't make a save. It's still closed. We need to open them all. Uh, it's one up here, I think. That is now open. That one's opened. Then one, this one's open too. Well, if there are skeletons here, that means we have not come. We have not covered everything. We have the whole map, yes. But if there is skeletons, it means we missed something. We have not done everything yet. So yeah, so basically we just want to figure out. Uh, was it, what, uh, what was it that happened to Mardenius when he was down here? This one's open. This one's open too. Okay, there is one down there to the right. Ah, it's open. 
not much around here. These two are open as well. That one too. One of them we're missing. The map doesn't really show you what's open and what not. Uh, did I go here? Not entirely sure. That's how we can make it there really quick. Wait. Yeah, they're still locked. Okay. So this probably was the... Just checking here. That was probably the last one we needed. Ah, it's in on the side. Never mind, we got lots of gold. How much gold we got? Almost 2,000 lots. It's only episode 3. Hmm. Pretty sure everything is open already. Oh, here it is. We got one last tomb. The cool one uh, will not come here. There he is. Ah, oh, I hate those bouncing spiders. But yeah, if that is the last of them, hmm. a passage leading downward. There you go. Now we are even deeper down. Oh, we've been here. All oh, right, so lads, this is where the teleporter stone t took me the first time we used it. Remember, the teleporter stone was lost. And we needed to teleport where it was, in order to retrieve its pair. So, you see? Connection level style Dark Souls. What a great game. I mean, it is a great game. It's a great game. I've heard um, from Mortisbal Gaming, who is a giga chat when it comes to Divinity lore. That Beyond Divinity which is the title that comes after this one, did not age as well as Divine Divinity. Which is slightly disappointing. I was really... I am really interesting on going through Beyond Divinity. I actually play a couple of hours. And... I don't know if it's because I already exper experienced uh, Divine Divinity. But it was way easier to get into the first time than it was on Divine Divinity. That I can tell you. You know, but maybe it's a little experience that is stacking up when it comes to these old games. For me, that is. I know that if you, if you were a young guy when these games came out, you probably know a lot of them. But to be true, these games are just very difficult for me. Are enjoyable nonetheless. Very. Well, yeah, you know, it's a generational thing, I guess. Oh. Hit and miss. Right. Oh yeah, so here, whoa, look at that. Nah, we're, we're stuck tablets. So here, when you see tidings, uh, just put your, uh, your cursor, your mouse uh, like on them, because you can find, as I was telling you, you can find uh, those little catacombs that are very good to um, 
just to kill some more more skeletons maybe find something you know you never know you never know what you want to find there fucking hate those spiders man bouncing spiders explosive as well so yeah the tombs either have things in it or are passages as well don't forget that you get a lot of gold though out of killing them you get gold and potions i did teach you how to how to identify stuff and being able to sell them for more gold uh, you can just sell an, an, an one unidentified uh, object but if you spend money on identifying them you can you can make more money you can know the true value that is hot that, that is got dude i'm looting do you mind Uh, difficult to hit them. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, this place is full of ghouls. Got a level up there. Perfect to restore. HP and... Ah. HP and mana. Okay. We are officially connected to the first place we teleported. Oh. Hey, look, uh, it stands to reason you can't eat because you don't have a stomach. Aha, so how can we speak? We don't have no vocal cords either. Answer that, Mr. Clever. Yeah, <laughs> what? You're right, you know. I, I mean, if you think about it, we don't have no muscles or flesh on our bones either. So, uh, what keeps us together, sort of thing? Huh? Best not to think about it. I don't want to fall to bits because of excess existential thought. <laughs> Nasty. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, God. Well. Uh, don't you hate it when you're at work early in the morning and suddenly this door is locked tighter than a dwarf's I'm not entirely you sure what die just did. of an existential crisis so yeah nothing to see here this is the place in which we came uh, first time around we could not open this uh, this door because the lever is here now it's connected So much gold. Very well. So that's it for this part of the area. Let's go. But yeah, I would recommend if you haven't played these games, these sort of games, and you want to uh, have a go, just make a mage. I know we all love the, the idea of a great sword and a great axe and stuff like that. The archer, I believe it's terrible. I've only heard. I never tried. Oh my god, we almost die. I never tried. I frankly never seen it. But I uh, I think I read on Steam. So I'm playing the Steam version, just so you know. That... The archer just like terrible. At least bow and arrow, whatever. Okay, there's a book here. We're gonna go down there to another sub level, but let's read this first. Tenth Octavianus. Okay, October that is. <laughs> Have discovered the means to uh, recall the dead as undead. This is far from proper resurrection, of course, but I'm on the right track at last. Killed all my servants yesterday. 
by poisoning the rat stew. They would have died anyway. <laughs> have already re uh, recalled all of them from death as living skeletons. This is not only safe, saves me quite a bit in wages, but has also uh, cleared up their flatulence problem very well. That is interesting, isn't it? So this guy is Theliron, as I told you before. He killed his entire troop, or his forces, and made them made them undead because he's experimenting. He wants to achieve immortality. So I don't know if we could. Let me see. Mm. There is not really more passages. Maybe that way, like that. But I'm pretty sure it's that's all done. Down to another sub level. Uh, how how much deeper are you gonna go, Fabian? I want to want to s learn about the story. I don't want to see you killing skeletons right, left, and center. Well, uh, oh, I don't know. I don't like to spoiler. There is a lot of people that have never played this game. You know. I'm always, I'm always hoping the idea that someone's fine this channel and stays around because they generally want to see the story of the game. That can happen, so I prefer to not spoiler. So more timings, you see. Um, I would be lying if I say that I remember everything. So we're just gonna have a quick clear up of the map. Uh, And then we're gonna go down there. A lot of the ti tilings will be... Small... Those small catacombs. Well, it, it's not catacombs, it's the, just uh, subterranean rooms. Very small rooms. That just have um, like a chest or two and a few skeletons for you to level up. Some weird uh oh weird necromancer art but I love it a potion, I don't want to go rest just yet. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Now everything is dark. As expected, the spell okay. appears to be wearing off. It was a very weak spell, so it's all right. More tidings here. I don't know how you call those. I'm calling them ti tile? Ah, uh, tilings. If you haven't noticed, uh, English is not my first language. I sometimes make a lot of mistakes. Hmm. Definitely need to rest. Got no mana. Since we're at it, let's uh, do these things. I don't even know what I should do. Meteor strike. Identify with cuts. Okay, this is good. That was nice. As for the stats, hmm. Just gonna keep pumping uh, intelligence and constitution. We are a mage nonetheless. I got the sword in my hand mostly because uh, sometimes I think it's necessary to break the pots.
right so i don't have to yeah as i as i upgrade uh intelligence the the mana increases i don't have a key that fits this okay, lock okay so this is locked who's shooting at me so all of these skeletons probably are the Mm, no, I don't think they are. I was gonna say they are uh, Thelidon's men. But I'm pretty sure they aren't. You do want to go around killing them all. Uh, I mean, I'm not gonna do it. Maybe I will have to, like, uh, do off-camera to level up and whatnot. And so the episodes are not uh, filled up with skeleton killing stuff. I'm just gonna come here. Lockpicks. I come this way. I think that is. Uh... I know that's where we came from, and probably I should have to close it all up. Right. And you know, we get lots of gold. By the time we have a good level and a good merchant. Oh. Leave me alone. I'm very busy, as you should be able to see. What's your name? Are you a dullard? I said that I was busy. What are you doing? For God's sake. You, stranger, are getting on my nerves. I am trying to work out, uh, to work out how to revive Thelidon. Right, so these are Thelidon men. So what seems to be the problem? I don't know. Thelidon gave me specific instructions to perform once he died. I have followed those instructions over and over again. And it simply doesn't work. What are the instructions? Very simple. To resurrect Thelidon, several levers have to be uh, to be moved in the correct order. It's my job to move the liver on the, uh, of the flesh. The liver of flesh. That doesn't sound right. <laughs> Could you show it to me? That sounds even worse. Do I have a choice? You seem to take pleasure in harassing me. <laughs> so we'd better get over with it. Come on, follow me. Uh, follow me. Excellent. Oh, okay, let's see. Let's see how this is going. That's a nice maze. Okay, that's the liver. That's the second one. Oh, that guy's dead. <laughs> well, we know the problem. Now. Help the dead uh, necromancer. So we have to help him, of course. Uh, somehow. Apparently these skeletons do not attack us. We are free to wander around now. So, of course, we are now going to help them with their stupidity problem. But it's not really a stupidity problem. It's the, the, the guy who was in charge of that liver somehow didn't resurrect completely. And he's dead. But yeah, they don't attack. Nice. So. Oh, I already triggered it. I didn't want to. Okay. Second one. My turn. Uh, actually, I shouldn't. Oh, I can't do that. Okay, very well. Doesn't matter. Spoiler alert. You're gonna fight a lot of stuff. You don't have to fight them. You have to run away. But, you know, we are a mage. And I, I want to take my chances. Uh, to see if I can kill some of them. Third liver. And now the other one. Oh... A 
Apparently, the teleporter stones don't work now. Yeah, I notice, darling. So, that is Theleron, who's been resurrected from the dead. At last, I have returned from the lands of the dead. I have become immortal. Ah. Our master has returned. Oh, master, finally you are with us once again. Oh, my sweet minions. I knew you could bring me back. Looks like the Iron Maiden, uh... The face is like the Iron Maiden, uh... Mascot. Two lockpicks. Uh... There's another well, thing... Where? Where? Ah, oh, there. Okay. Okay, so we've done that quest. Let's see what this is about. Mm hmm? Are you not who... Uh, you are not who I was expecting. Where is Mardenius? Mardenius, lads. He's probably off trying to milk a tree, for all I know. So you are responsible for his mad behavior. He had the privilege of sharing his mind with me, indeed. Why him? We had met before when he erected... Why? What, are, what, is, what is this selection of words? Okay. When he erected his petty little village, we made a bargain. Then, I fear he did not ex uh, expect to honor it. Well, I'm off. That's the only option, huh? I will instruct my servants to let you pass, but do not come back. Already I can feel my appetite growing. Uh, right, thank you, I guess. Wait! No! What's wrong? Pain? No! This cannot be. I refuse it. I refuse it to let it be. Uh, I believed I had escaped such mortal afflictions. Oh, so he's in pain now. He's feeling his uh, his body dying and uh, rotting, whatever. Are you alright? Uh, do you want me to bring you a healer? Not mortal pain. Oh no, please stranger, help me. Kill me, please. And kill my servants. This is not meant to be. I didn't know. Please. I resurrected you and now you want me to kill you? Well, the thing is, lads, this is a spoiler alert. As we kill him... All the minions are gonna swarm and try to kill us. So, yeah, I wanna see if I can kill some of them. <laughs> I don't think I can. I resurrected you and you now want me to kill you. Slay me, please. I cannot endure this and I beg you, kill my poor servants. I didn't know how, they, uh, didn't know. They deserve peace, not this abomination. How could I have known, Mardinius? You were right, you were right. Either these guys are really strong on handling pain, or it's only this guy who feels pain. If I kill you, will you haunt Mardinius again? No, this will be. Uh, must be a final end. So we can leave him be, or kill him, but we need to kill him. Prepare yourself. He's dead. This cannot be! Who has killed our brethren? Our master has been killed. We must avenge him. Come, my brothers. Attack! He told me to- <laughs> No, I cannot do this. <laughs> this is a lot of fucking experience, though. There you are. They're all dead. Greetings. You don't know how grateful I am that you rescued my spirit f uh, from the clutches of the, that vile necromancer. This is Martinius, if you don't remember, guys. You do look a lot better, so it must have worked. If you don't mind me asking, is that portal going anywhere? If it is, I suggest we step through it before more undead crawl up out of whatever help it spawns them. Very well. Step through the portal and you'll find yourself in Aleroth. There we can, uh, we can talk. That's the best use I had all day. 9,000 XP, that's good. So, restore Mardinius' sanity. 
I just want to have a look around. Yeah. Trail bomb. Yeah, they certainly threw a lot of stuff, didn't they? No, no. Not as much as you would think. But yeah, I'm sure I can come back and loot the place or something. I uh, got a sheath the sword. Remember that? People get a little crazy if you don't. We are back in Aleroth flats. Remember the little flags we put together? Lanilor, that's where I stay. The Dwarven. Uh, Martinius. George. George is the, the vendor, healer, trader. I had some issues with some guy. The lizard guy. And I think that's it. Mardenius. Greetings, my friend. I thought uh, I thought foul Thelion would destroy my mind. I mean your debt. And I hope that I can repay you someday. What can I do for you? Ah, well. Um... I'd like to hear more about Celeron. I'm so glad that you have released me from this evil entity. Celeron was a necromancer of great power. He searched for a way to become immortal and he failed. Well, we do know that already. Uh, good to see you're alright again. Now the village will, be, will flourish. We will still uh, have got problems with the source. It's a tragedy that we can't heal the sick and suffering. I am trying to find a way to uh, restore the source to its former glory. Uh, there is a way, pretty, I'm pretty sure. Uh, with the magic mirror and the healing gem we did. The source is an energy field that used to heal sick patients. A healer has to link his mind with the source uh, so that he can get access to its powers. Do you know how, uh, why the source is being tainted? There's probably dark magic involved. Since the source has been tainted, we healers cannot perform but the simplest healing rituals any longer. Uh, okay, can you heal me? Okay, a little healing there. My beautiful friend. Hey, hold on. Don't go that way though. Have you got anything good? Super magic. Super healing. Mmm... I want to make sure to sell a few things. That's how you identify an object. You can see now it's a thousand gold. You can sell it. For a better price. As I instructed you. Wait, didn't I say? Okay. Uh, I have nothing really. I'm going to take... How much is it? A thousand. Take one of these and one of this. Or whenever Great Peril attacks me. Mm. The Amber. Uh. Got nothing more of value, quite frankly. We got all of those thingies completed. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go check on George. Remember that he was being... Uh, he was being... What, what, what is the word? So the tax man, well, the provider of his goods was raising the price every time he would... Uh, was the time for him to, to charge. And it seems like that's gonna lead us to some mission. What 
What's happened here? Oh well, he's dead. I guess we can take everything though. I mean, too bad. But superb. Got a stuff. Yeah, I mean, George is dead now. Let's go through his that was nice. room, see if we can find anything. This is the true the I am pretty sure I shouldn't touch it. How wonderful. What does it say? George murder. George has been killed. No money or goods are stolen still. Mm, no, I didn't find anything really. They stole everything. I don't have it. I am of a mind that George murder is somehow connected to the mysterious merchant who argued with George in his store. Perhaps the other heroes can tell me more. Very well. We're gonna go and talk to Martinus about this. Welcome back, my friend. Feel free to ask me whatever question comes to your mind. I've seen much in my life and can tell you a lot of things. Any idea who could have killed George? Well, I have no idea. He was a talented healer and trustworthy uh, shopkeeper. If you can find any clue about his murder or the reasons why uh, he had to die, I will reward you kindly. Uh, I know that George had a money problems uh, and was arguing with a strange fellow about some herbs. He even asked me to get some of those herbs for him. The name of uh, the herbs? Through the night. Great gods, nobody should use that, uh, should use that carelessly. The liquid drawn f uh, for me is highly addictive. The herbs are hard to get in, uh, to. Get to. So th this is used to drugs basically he had a problem i think this explains strange behavior in his money problems he was a drug addict well there you go george a drug addict i don't i don't know why george never came to learn it or, or to me to speak about this, uh, his problems of course the question remains why he was killed the poor fellow thanks again for helping us adventurer well let's check on Lanelor before moving on. Lanelor and Margenius are like the most, uh, the more uh, important people. The other ones get, are kept to themselves, really. Keliot uh, Tenabre, the brave one, returns. I'm so happy that the good Mardinius has been freed from the necromancer. Now what can I do for you? I'm investigating George murder. It is a horrible event. Never has a single soul been murdered in Aleroth since the healer came here. I feel in my vitals uh, that dark forces are involved. Be careful, human. Very well. Nothing more. Exposed George murderer. The healers are unaware who might be the, he the killer. Mardinius uh, has asked me to investigate the crime and keep him informed. Right, so... That lad, as far as I'm concerned, I don't know if we'll come back. Maybe. We still have the... Here. In this house, we have the other stone for teleporting, so we might come back. But at the moment, I'm not entirely sure if we are going to uh, do anything else here. So, since we've done all of that, we're going to move out. We're going we're gonna to start going out of the... The healing uh, village. Is that the door? Yeah. Those are some knights fighting the orcs. They're all dying. And that looks like a paladin. You guys know I cannot resist the paladin. Gotta love him. Quick, get inside the gate. The orcs won't attack the village until their numbers are greater. So you'll be safe in there for now. 
What about you? Uh, never am no coward, let's make a stand. Well spoken, stranger. But even the mightiest warriors retreat when, uh, when arrows are in the wind. Would you fight bowmen with hand, hand weapons? Get inside. I have magic, dude. Very well then. Greetings. I am Lord Seth. Uh, it's Seth? Okay. And in case you are the short, uh, the sword who looks for strife and woe, let me also introduce you to my noble sword, Bright Blade. Oh, nice. Now, with those formalities over, is there a reason why you impede my way? Why did you risk your life to come to this village? It is no secret. I was sent here by my general. A mysterious plague in, uh, is haunting the streets of the poor district of Rivertown. I am to request the aid and assistance of the good healers who live here. By the seven gods. Tell me more about this plague. Um, large parts of the poor district are under quarantine and people are dying everywhere. It is not a, a pretty sight, I'm afraid. This gate is all the, uh, the guards a little from the bandits. Uh, I would like to ask you a favor. Could you carry my message to the healers while I guard the gate? I have seen signs that an orc scouting party is nearby. I think I'd better wait uh, here and keep watch. Hmm. You were my lord, I'll tell the healers that they are needed in Rivertown. How can the healers leave their village if there, there are orc marauders hunting all around? Well, obviously they will be escorted, you dullard. You don't need to call me that. Very well, I'll tell them. Excellent, you have my thanks. In the meantime, Brightplay and I will uh, ruin the day of, for any minion of evil who tries to get into this settlement. Find a solution to the plague problem in Rivertown. New quest. The healers are not able to heal though. Can you do something about the plague in Rivertown? Innocent people are dying. I'll send Lanilor and other healers to investigate the plague, but they'll need the protection of the Ducal army. They can't journey through the woods to Rivertown without an armed arm escort. Perhaps you can arrange uh, there something. It's not coming. I have to find out why we can't access the source. Very well then. How do I do this? Yeah, we should be able to dispatch an escort. I hope Lord Seth can help us out. But for now, it's far more important that you find an escort for the healers. Very well. The healers are needed in Riverton to help combat the plague. Uh, um, so I had to arrange that. And we are more likely to go to Rivertown, it seems. Okay, the place is clean. Look at that armor, that's sick. Greetings, what can I do for you now? The healers are ready to move to Rivertown. Can you guarantee their safety on the road? No, I can't. And the people of Rivertown need your help once again. You have to reach General Alex fleet, uh, fleet footed so that a fighting escort can be dispatched to here. I will stay here to protect the village against orc marauders. Where can I find the general? That means you accept? Ha, ah, excellent. You, uh, you will find her at the army barracks, a small stronghold south to Stormfist Castle. Is that a, that's an Elden Ring place, isn't it? It's, uh, it's here on your map. Is it? It is. Well, look at that. All the way over there. So, it would seem I am off to River Town or Stormfish Castle. I would suggest that you leave Alaroth by the cover of night. 
if we are supposed to do something about the plague in Rivertown, we need an arm escort. Very well. So. We are off, lads. We are off. I'm gonna do a little something. Uh, this is not my house. That, well, my house is not even my house. This is uh, the other guy's house. Joram, our rescuer. But we are staying here. Right, so. We are just gonna put a few things in there. This stuff may be, may be useful for us. I'm not entirely sure. Can I wear it? Can I use it? Do I make more damage now or something like that? Right. So, lads. We're gonna wrap up here. It's night time. I'm not sure if I like that. Especially to go out in the wild where there is orcs and stuff. But yeah, we're gonna grab it here. Uh, I hope you enjoy. I hope you are understanding a little bit. I'm trying to go through um, through the dialogues smoothly and trying to uh, point out the things that we're doing, the things we've done. So these paladins come here. We need to go now. We need to go now to that place we uh, we've been told, Stormfist Castle. Oh, well, the army barracks. Yeah, we'll see how that unravels. We need to stop this plague. We also need to expose the murderer. But with that being said, I hope you enjoy. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching.